my channel. My name is Brittany Bundles and today's video is going to be all about refunding through Sezzle. So I've made multiple videos on this channel about Sezzle. If you're not um, too familiar with the company Sezzle, Sezzle gives you the ability, it's a, it's a payment merchant. It gives you the ability to offer buy now, pay later options for your customers and clients. And I, I think it's really, really cool because you don't have to wait to get your payments and installments. For example, if you're... Um, Let's just say you're selling an item or items that total $400 and your customer decides to purchase the uh, products for $400 and they're paying a percentage. Their payments are typically broken up into four payments and they're making monthly payments. You don't have to wait to receive your money. Um, how do I want to explain this? Like you don't have to... You get your money up front is what I'm trying to say. Um, depending on the plan that you're on, they have, I believe, two different plans, a three-day holding plan or a one-day holding plan. One of the plans gives you the option to earn interest on the money uh, collected in your account, and the other plan is just like a three-day holding plan. You get the money after three business days. Um, but I think that's really cool because I don't have to wait, like I mentioned, for my money to be paid over the course of time. Even though your customer is making monthly payments, you get your payment up front. So that's one of the reasons that I like Sezzle. Um, I did multiple videos on this channel because I wanted to do my research before I added any payment option on my website. If you've been following this channel, you know that's something I, I'm good for. I wanna make sure that everything works smooth and everything is fine before I'm adding it to my store. So I'm currently offering PayPal and Sezzle and um, I got an email from someone, I believe, I don't know if, if, if they are subscribed to my channel, but they found my email address from my video. So I appreciate you watching the video and reaching out. And I hope if you're not a subscriber that you will become a subscriber like today <laughs> or very soon. But uh, they were asking how refunds work through Sezzle. And um, I actually, you know, I've experienced a few refunds through Sezzle or I've actually initiated a few refunds through Sezzle. Typically, I don't offer refunds. I have that on my website. But of course, you are going to have those one-offs where you may need to cancel an order. Um, some of the reasons that you may want to cancel or may need to cancel an order is due to fraud concerns. Um, there may be, like I know on my website, there is a minimum quantity for wholesale orders. So there have been orders that I've canceled that have had like three bundles instead of the minimum order quantity of 10. Um Sometimes there may be shipping constraints where, uh, you know, the, the, the customer that's ordering through you specifically states that if you ship my products through this um, carrier, I may not get it. I've had lots of issues with the post office or lots of issues with this or lots of issues with this carrier. Um, and so, you know, maybe you only work with the post office or uh, maybe there's an issue with inventory or not even an issue, but maybe you're sold out. Maybe you're sold out of what they um, purchased and you weren't able to get to the website in time to update your website that you were sold out. So those are some reasons that companies will offer refunds, even if they don't technically offer refunds. Those are some one-offs that you may run into. And so I'm going to be explaining my experience refunding through Sezzle. If you are interested in this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please make sure that you are subscribed and let's get right into the video. All right, so I have refunded through Sezzle, like I mentioned. I am currently using Shopify for my e-commerce site. So my Sezzle orders go through Shopify. If you are not sure which e-commerce site you want to use, I strongly recommend Shopify and I have many videos on this channel to back why I recommend Shopify. So if you are interested, be sure to check out my business playlist um, and also my hair business playlist for more information in regards to um, you know Shopify and why I decided to go with Shopify and things like that. And also, if you do want to try out Shopify for your business, feel free to click the link right below this video. There may even be a free trial for you, but you have to click the link to see. Now, um, like I said, I use Shopify, so all of my sales orders go through Shopify. Uh, when I receive an order, I get a notification not only through Shopify, but also through Sezzle. Um, now I'm gonna show you what it looks like in my store when I cancel a Sezzle order. Um, what already says refunded. Does it show any? Okay. So I'm going to show you just this part. Oh, I'm going to black out the rest of the... Okay. So as you can see, it shows you a refund of 374 What is it? 90 And it says refund it on Sezzle. 
So that's what it shows through my Shopify store if I click refund. The way that you refund through Suzzle, I mean, you have two different ways. If you are using Shopify, you can either go through your Shopify store and cancel out the order and choose to refund it through Suzzle there, or you can actually go over to your Suzzle app or to the Suzzle website and you can refund the orders directly through Suzzle as well. So it just depends on how you want to do that. Now, I do want to let you know this. No matter if you know you refund as soon as the customer places the order or you refund 24 hours after the customer placed the order, you're still going to be charged that transaction fee. Each time a customer purchases using Suzzle, there's a percentage that Suzzle keeps through your purchases. That's how they get paid or one of the ways you know that they get paid. So... One, the first time that I refunded through Suzzle, I was a little confused because I knew that they took the fees, but I was assuming that I had like a grace period, like 24 to 48 hours to refund the order before the fee was actually kept. That's not true. Um, what will happen is, so for, you know, I'm, I'm just going to let you know what happened for the recent transaction that I refunded. What happened is um, I, refunded through, I refunded through Shopify. Um, the customer was alerted through Shopify. I'm sure um, they may be alerted through Suzzle as well, but they were alerted that the order was canceled and that their payments um, is, was going to be refunded. Suzzle refunds them the amount. So like their initial down payment is what I refer to it as, but um, the initial payment that they made because they were going to be on a payment plan making payments to pay off their purchase. So it's like a buy now, pay later, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. So uh, the money that they put down now uh or the you know the the standard amount that they paid down for the purchase that's going to be refunded to them but Cezzle is also going to withdraw so Cezzle withdrew from my account today how much and just hang with me because this was something that I was really confused about when it first happened to me because I didn't expect to have any funds withdrawn from me um when I refunded an order so that that happened. So Celzo withdrew three seventy four ninety from my account today. That is the amount that I refunded. So when you refund and a customer purchase through Cezzle, you're refunding um, Cezzle through your actual bank account. Whatever bank account it's associated with or tied to, it's going to be refunded from that um, bank account. Now that was a little confusing for me because again, um, I was thinking that if I canceled an order. There was going to be a grace period. So I kind of thought that everything would just be canceled. I assumed that it was going to be canceled and then Cezzle was going to refund the money that the customer purchased and that was going to be it. But that's not it. Um, like I said, you cancel, Cezzle does refund your customer, but you're still going to be debited. So they're still going to pull from your account the amount that your customer uh, is going to be refunded. So I sent a refund for three seventy four, even though the customer didn't purchase that amount. You know they didn't pay three seventy four because they're doing buy now pay later. You still are going to be debited the full amount of that order. So they debited three seventy four ninety. Now also on Suzzle, it shows that there is an amount pending from that order. So it's still um, showing that I'm going to receive a deposit from that order of three forty nine eighty three. So they're going to deposit $349.83 after three business days into my account. So the difference is about $30. Let me pull it up. Yeah, $30.29. So it shows you that here under Cezzle information. So it shows that the order was refunded. So it shows the purchase amount, the refund amount, and also the fees. So you don't get the fees back. The fees are taken, like I said, no matter what. So I just want everyone to know that. Um, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with it because at the end of the day, once they take back, you know, once they take the money out of your account and then um, deposit it after three business days, you are going, I mean, you get the money back minus the fee. However, I think that a lot of people will be surprised if they don't know that up front. I may have read through it. I'm pretty sure I did read through it in the beginning before I added Cezzle, but I read through so much that sometimes I forget. I'm not memorizing all of the policies um, through every payment 
you know, method that I, that I offer on my site. I mean, right now it's only to PayPal and Sezzle. However, there are some things that I don't know or that I have forgotten about PayPal as well as Sezzle because there's just a lot of information, a lot of fine print. So I wanted to make this video answering the question that I received via email and also explaining to everyone that wants to use Sezzle that that's how it worked in my experience. I don't discourage anyone from using Sezzle. I still have had a really great experience using um, you know, that them as a payment merchant and my customers really enjoy using Sezzle as well. So do my clients. Um, however, I do want everyone to know that because say I didn't have the money in the account, say that, um, I don't know, say I just had a huge purchase the, the day before and I wasn't anticipating 370 coming out of my account. I could have received overdraft fees and it could have been, I mean, there, there's a lot of things that could have happened. So I just want everyone to know if you are canceling the order, check your account, make sure the money is there, that they're actually able to pull the full amount um, from your checking or, you know, from your savings, wherever, you know, whatever you have tied to your Sezzle account and that you are aware that you're still responsible for the fee. And then also um, that you're not confused on why they're taking the full amount. Um, when they refund, even though the customer didn't pay 374, because like I said, when a customer purchases through Sezzle, the payments are broken up. So that's the whole, that's the whole benefit of purchasing through Sezzle. You get to buy now and pay later. You pay on installments. And so uh, you, for me, like I said, initially I was thinking that they were going to just give the money back that the customer paid. I uh, maybe charge me or have a balance in my Sezzle account of, you know, the, the fees and they would deduct it from the next order. I don't know why I was thinking that, but I just thought that's how it worked, but that's not how it worked in my experience. So just wanted to make this video to put that out there. And before I go, I do want to shout out the Coda's water bottle. If you haven't checked out the Coda's water bottle or grab yours, I highly recommend you do that. Um, it's really been helping me drink a lot more water. Uh, I know this is kind of like a side note, but it's true. I have been drinking more water. One, because I like the container. I, it did come with like a, you know, one of these. I don't know the, the right terminology, but it came with like a white um, band around it that I took off and I put in my purse. It's still in my purse. I just, every time I have my purse, with me or that purse with me, I never think about putting it back on here. But I've been drinking more water and I think it's because, um, well, I know it's because I really like how this looks. So I wanna always take it with me. And plus, I love how it keeps everything cold. I really find great use for it. If you do wanna check out or grab the coldest water bottle for yourself or a family member or a friend, check my link down below. Go ahead and grab one. And if you love pink, I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this water bottle. I really love this water bottle and the color. So don't forget to check this out. Thanks so much for watching the video. I hope that I was able to answer the question. If you do have any additional questions, feel free to leave them down below or reach out to me via social media. All of my links are down below and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.